We are the Robotics Club at UCF, a volunteer student-run organization dedicated to the interest of autonomous robotics located in sunny Orlando, Florida. Go Knights! Our club is comprised of mechanical, electrical, and software engineering teams that have attended RoboBoat since its inception in 2007. We are proud to present our entry into RoboBoat 2014, Classic Boat Name. The robust modularity of our second place RoboBoat 2013 vehicle has enabled our team to make several major modifications to the existing platform in order to complete the RoboBoat 2014 challenges. The vehicle's buoyancy is obtained by its styrofoam pontoons, which are covered by a two-part polyurethane coating and structurally supported by polycarbonate inserts. The vehicle's tubular aluminum frame was professionally welded and anodized to ensure adequate support and increase longevity. Four professional-grade trolling motors are mounted to the vehicle's frame in a diamond configuration. This provides the vehicle with reliable forward-backward, rotational, and lateral motion on the water surface. Lateral motion is especially useful for forward-facing sensors to accurately scan the shoreline in a time-efficient manner during tasks such as the automated docking challenge. Classic Boat Name's sensor mast provides an optimal mounting location for view-dependent hardware and contains a majority of the boat's sensors. 3D printed parts drafted in SOLIDWORKS are utilized to provide custom mounting solutions for various hardware, such as the front bumper, webcam, and PIDAR. Our sensor hardware is used to complete all course challenges. Computer vision algorithms identify course objects and classify their distance in order to decide a heading. To complete the acoustic pinger mission, our team constructed a custom hydrophone mount and filtering process in order to determine relative pinger location and depth. Identifying the light sequence for the underwater light mission is accomplished via an underwater camera system. Within a waterproof enclosure mounted on the underside of the vehicle, a webcam is used to identify sudden color changes over time in order to select the appropriate sequence. We would like to thank our sponsors at the Army Research Laboratory, Simulation and Training Technology Center, Institute for Simulation and Training, UCF Student Government Association, Advanced Navigation, and Turbine Technology for providing us the means to build our surface vehicle.